Welcome fans of the Tillamook Air Museum. I'm Christian Gerling, the museum's curator, and today we bring you just an absolute fun interview with actress Lee Bryant. Uh, an actress for over four decades, Lee is best known for her role in the 1980 comedy Airplane. In the film, Lee plays a nervous passenger and is best remembered in the film for exclaiming, I got, I gotta get out of here, and then subsequently being shaken by the air, airplane's flight attendant and told to get a hold of yourself. And then another passenger behind her says, let me handle this, and begins shaking her. And then actor Leslie Nielsen takes over and, and slaps her twice. The camera then pans to the left, and the viewer can see a whole line of passengers with weapons. One with boxing gloves, another with a gun, another with a baseball bat. Absolutely one of the funniest scenes of the whole film. So without further ado, I want to welcome Lee Bryant. Hello. <laughs> so, um, Lee, can we start out uh, by telling us uh, where were you, where you were born and raised? Well, I was born in New York City, um, and then I was raised. My parents were originally from Michigan, so we, when I was just a few weeks old, we went back to Michigan, and I was raised there, outside of Detroit. All right, and 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 you live in New York City today, still? I do. Yeah, oh. I do. And so did you always want to be an actress? Uh, you know, I guess I did. I, <laughs> I always did, you know, plays in school and high school. And then I ended up majoring in in theater in college. And, um, I, yeah, <laughs> it was always what I wanted to do. I was too young and stupid to realize how hard it was and that it was something that not a whole lot of people actually made a living doing. So I, I did, actually did very well because I was too young and stupid to know that you couldn't, might not, you might not. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Now, where did, you go, where did you go to school at? I went to Endicott College in, in uh, Beverly, Massachusetts first, and then I, and then I went to the Wayne State University. And did you ever have any, um, so you said you always wanted to be an actress, but did you ever have any second thoughts along the way or, or anything else you wanted to do or, or was acting pretty much it? Well, acting was what I always wanted to do and, and was very lucky and, and made a, you know, worked pretty consistently and made a living at it for quite a long time. And then several years ago, I just had a little more time on my hands and I started doing some decorating for people and I, I did that actually along with acting for for about 20 years <laughs> so, and um, and that was fun and and we got to work with colleagues and and it was creative and a lot like not like acting because it required it was actually harder and more detail oriented <laughs> but, it was it was fun. Now, as, as a young actress, were your parents uh, supportive of what you wanted to do in your career? They were. They uh, they they were surprised because I grew up in a fairly um, you know kind of conservative community, and it was a, they you know the the idea that I wanted to be an actor seemed a little odd to them. But luckily, my my aunt was best friends had grown up with and was best friends with Julie Harris, hmm. who is a yeah. wonderful um, film and mostly theater actor, and she'd become quite famous. And so the, the idea that I wanted to be an actor, too, was that they had, they had to kind of say that was okay. So, mm -hmm. Were you always, uh, I mean, performing as a child? Did, did other people you know, see that in you? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, I did. I, I I did a lot of stuff in, as I said, in high school and college. And um, as even as a small child, I loved to kind of, you know, sing and dance and play around. And it was, just came naturally to me, I think. So you were definitely outgoing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was. I was. It was certainly a way to... Express myself that was, um, you know, that 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 people seem to accept. So, 
Do you ever wonder uh, where that all came from? Where you wanted to be an actress? I mean, because you're, because you're, uh, you know, your parents probably weren't entertainers or. Oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, not at all. They, um, no, I have no idea. I, you know, I, I just, it was just, you know, I watched television as a child and got taken to plays and, and I just thought, and when when I was twelve, my mother brought me to New York for the first time, and we spent a week in New York, and I got to see Auntie Mame and the and um, uh, My Fair Lady, wow. and I thought, well, this is where I want to live, and this is what I want to do. This is you know, the, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Was, so, how did you end up getting the part, or how did the part in Airplane? come about um, did you audition for the part I did yeah I did and um, I had actually done a, a commercial for a coffee that was the thing that they ended up basing some of the joke of, of those scenes on and I was afraid to tell them that I had actually done one of those commercials because I didn't I, I didn't want them to them not hire me because I had actually done the commercial so I I don't know if they ever actually knew, but <laughs> um, I did a lot of coffee commercials back in those days. So, so what was the? Uh, do you remember what the audition was like? Um. Yeah, I just had to uh, read a bunch of the lines from the part, and then they had they had me in a couple of times, and um, and then. And then I got it, which was I was delighted about. I had read the script and thought it was hysterical, and um, I felt, you know, I, was, I just felt I was very grateful. I remember I was sitting on the on the plane next to Nick Pryor, who was playing my husband, and and he had done a whole lot of work. He had he was he had done a lot of television, a lot of feature films, and. And this, and I had only done, I think, one other feature film up, up until then. And I, and I, and I said, well, and because we, they were paying us kind of favored nations, and nobody was being paid very much. And I said, well, I know I, why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I need the feature credit. Why are you doing this? And he said, because I think that to simply have been in it is going to serve us all very well. <laughs> <laughs> Very prophetic. Wow. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> um. So you so you said you read uh, the script ahead of time and you auditioned. Um. So during the audition, um, were Jim Abrams or or David and Jerry Zucker there during the audition? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. So they had final approval on 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 oh, who, yeah. on on who got uh, each part. And, yeah, they did. They they and the and the producer. So, what was your? Um, do you recall uh, what your impression of of those three was? Oh gosh. Um, well, they were just all young and adorable. You know, they were all kind of my age and funny, and <laughs> they were they were very supportive. And um, they had worked on they had worked on this script for a long, long time. So it was, you know, it had been around, you know, kind of bouncing around for a few years. So once the once you had, had gotten the part, where did the actual filming take place? We were shooting in Burbank, um, I think not far from Warner Brothers. It was a, I forget the name of the of the of the studio where we were, but it was they had a whole. They had a, actually a plane that had been cut in half. <laughs> it was wow. that was our that was the plane we shot on. Uh huh. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you were on a real plane, and so, so kind of going over to the to the so the scene in the movie Airplane where you were slapped with a line of passengers with with weapons. Um, was this written into the script the way we saw it, or were there no. improvisations and changes along the no. way? The movie was based on an old B film um, that I'm blanking on the name of right now, and it was, and they really pretty much 
took the scenes as they were and then and then twisted them into comedy, you know, so they were because it was a very serious, dramatic uh, movie. And, um, and my part was originally that I, I start to go a little nuts and, you know, want to get out of there. And they, and, and the flight attendant comes up to me and shakes me and then it gets called away and she gets another passenger to come in and shake me. And that was, and that was the joke. And so I suggested to the guys that, um, that maybe wouldn't it be funny if the hysterical person got slapped rather than because it just went that one, one step farther. And then might it not be funny if they, if, you know, another, you know, if the doctor or the, the, the nun or people you wouldn't expect came along and they you know they really ran with it though they 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 went back into their little trailer and talked it all over and they came up and they you know and they had you know tire irons and and (laughs) (laughs) it was just oh it was they they really really ran with it they you know they they did all the really funny stuff i just really suggested that everybody slap me so they did, I mean, the stewardess actually slapped me in the beginning and everybody slapped me. And they said, well, what, you know, well, what if you get hurt? And I said, well, we, we won't have to because we'll stage it. So, you know, we'll just, we'll rehearse it and stage it. So it was kind of shake, shake, slap, which was, and then I knew to, you know, act as if I'd been slapped. And then they could put in the sound effects and stuff. So they... <laughs> Um, Leslie Nielsen couldn't quite get the timing, so he kept uh, actually hitting me. So, so <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, oh, it was, it was, and Maureen was over, and it was a darling playing the nun, and she and she was so upset at the idea of they been trying to slap me that she <laughs> you know, she got very. Um, very upset at the uh, you know the, kind of the violence of it, even though it wasn't really. So anyway, how long, uh, if you recall, how long did it take to to film this entire scene? Uh, I you know I don't remember. It was we had to do it a few times because you do stuff a few times um, in on, on, on in movies. So um, I don't remember how many takes we we did. And then they got, you know, sometimes they were, they were different angles they were shooting from. Because and... it seemed like it would be hard because it was, it was so hilarious. And I'm sure it was just as hilarious on set. It would seem like it would be really difficult for you as uh, actors and actresses to, to keep it all together. <laughs> well, that, they, <laughs> the, um, we, we did. There was a lot of laughing going on. So <laughs> we were. You know, and there was and there was kind of a lot of buzz in 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 town at the time about this movie that was being made because people, the actors, would go and just talk about what, what fun they were having and how hard everybody was laughing. And then and um, the the you know the Zuckers would say, "Okay, okay, everybody has to stop laughing, or we're going to have to clear the set." <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um, so when you weren't on camera, were you off stage watching the filming? Yeah, yeah, we we watched a lot. Yeah, we did as much as we could because it was every, everything was just so funny. So you mentioned earlier that uh, so you had done this U band coffee commercial in the um, in the late nineteen seventies where uh, you were in disbelief that your husband does not want a second cup of coffee, but right. um, but does so because it it is it is U band coffee. Um, and and so I would have thought that you know that the Zuckers would have would have known about this ahead of time. So you so you think this is just, was just an amazing coincidence that that they didn't know about this because of course your line in, in the movie Airplane is well Jim never has a second cup of coffee at home. He never has fish at home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, both. I they um I no I I honestly don't I honestly don't know if they knew that I had done it. Um, I had done. As I said, I'd done a bunch of commercials at the time, so um, I don't know. 
I, I just, you know, may, they probably did. Maybe, maybe they did. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, what was it like working with the the re- with the rest of the, the cast of Airplane? Oh God, they were. Everybody was just they were. <laughs> they were just, everybody was so on board. You know, it was so much fun. There was not one person with an ego in the whole in the whole cast. There were everybody was just just having a ball. It was, it was like, you know, high school musical or something. It was, just, it was hysterical. We all just laughed a lot and had a good time. And, you know, Howard, our producer, was amazing. And everybody was, it couldn't have been nicer. I mean, given it was that sort of experience, it, it must have been, you know, a little bit of a letdown when it was, when it was all over. Oh, sure. <laughs> it always is. But, um, you know, but it was great. It was and and I, you know, and I, I kind of knew that people would get a kick out of the movie, but nobody had any idea that it would blow up like it did. You know, it was and have the kind of legs that it does. Mm-hmm. It's, it's funny. So after the the film came out, of course, the the film actually did very well at the box office and was very popular. Uh, did people recognize you on on the streets? Yeah, <laughs> they did. They did all the time. I was I was kind of amazed. I've been, um, yeah, no, yeah, they did. <laughs> Just in odd places, you know. <laughs> it was, I, I, and then back in those days, I I actually got you know moved up to first class <laughs> one time <laughs> and be and given a bottle of champagne another time by the flight attendants, and it was very funny. Oh. Why do you uh, why do you think airplane is is so funny to us still today? Well, uh, you know, I think funny's funny. You know, they 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 just they make fun of of they just make fun of everybody, and it's and it is uh, it's just silly. But there was a wonderful uh, um, what was his name? Oh God, a guy with a. Um, Cunningham. Uh, anyway, a, a critic in New York who was who was like the CBS critic, and I bumped into him at a screening of something else at one point in the lobby, and, and he said, he said, you were, he said, it's so hard to make a deeply silly movie, and and it is, and and Steven Spielberg told me one time that I was in his favorite movie. So, mm, wow, yeah. Uh, it is, you know, it is, it's just, it's silly. So, uh, it, and then I guess silly doesn't go on a date. No, not at all. Absolutely. I, an absolute cult classic, even to this day. Yeah. Uh, so, so what is your personal favorite scene from Airplane? Oh, gosh. Um, there's so many. I, you know, I think probably... My favorite is when Robert Stack is is there with somebody comes running up to him and says, you know, should we turn the runway lights on? And he says, no, that's just what they'll be expecting us to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of eyes narrowed and looking very serious. It was, I, I just, that line just cracked me up. <laughs> I know that's almost, for you, I'm sure it's almost an impossible question to answer. It would be like choosing uh, be- between your children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, was, I think they were great. And mm-hmm. Lloyd Bridges was amazing. He was just such a prince of a man. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I couldn't have been a better experience. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So how soon after the first film were you asked to do Airplane to the sequel? Hmm. I can't remember how many years later that was. I don't remember. And I, I'm, and I, I, I understand. Like maybe five years later? Or oh, okay. Maybe. I, I can't, you know, I honestly can't remember how long it was. Because we, we shot that in... 79, it came out in 80, and then, um, 
I can't. What, what, you know, do you happen to know when the other one came out? I, I, yeah, I'd have to look that up one. So yeah, I didn't think it was very long after. The I guess first it wasn't. One. It was, but it was at least. Um, I mean, it must have been was well, early eighties. I know, I know that. I mean, I we we've been in the same house since eighty one, so it must have been. Um, sometime after that because I remember Howard calling me in, a, in that house. <laughs> mm-hmm. so. Well, it's interesting that, uh, you know, Jim Abrams and, and David and Jerry Zucker were, weren't involved in, in the sequel. And no, you recall, they, were, you, were, you, were you worried about that at all, how that movie might play without well, uh, such comedic you know, talents? I, yeah, I did because I thought I thought they were so brilliant. But they, um, you know, they just said, you know, they just said everything. They worked on that for a long time and they they – they felt that they had pulled everything of value that was that was humorous out of that situation. So, um, and they didn't just, they didn't want to repeat themselves. And you know, and Leslie Nielsen wouldn't wouldn't agree to do it again, but a bunch of us did, and um, and and had a good time. But it it, it wasn't as funny, and it um, and. You know, it, it, we we were kind of repeating ourselves, so. Mm-hmm. Well, that's smart, you know, because they get it's almost like you know, like the way Seinfeld did, kind of in a way, going out on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and then they just they went on and did all sorts of other wonderful things. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, so they 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 did just fine. Do you still keep in contact with uh, any of the other actors, actresses, or writers or directors? Uh, every once in a while, we we bump into each other, or or they'll have some some reunion <coughs> of, of 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 a bunch of us. They'll, they'll you know they'll and um, they were they were they were doing a documentary um, of of some of the great film comedies, and the first one they did it was on it was a, a whole thing on it was like the first the first of a series of documentaries that they did and um so we got a bunch of us gathered in LA for the you know to be interviewed for that and then they and then they had a big screening thing that was a fundraiser for something else and they flew us out and every once in a while we do we, we all get together and it's great fun to see everybody and um, I see Joyce Bullifant every few years because she lives in um, in Palm Springs, and I have a bunch of friends that I visit in Palm Springs, and um, and yeah, I mean we do. And Julie Haggerty and I, every once in a while, every few years, in contact. And so, what is your uh, so what does your family think about uh, about airplane and your role in it? <laughs> Oh well, they they you know they love it. My my kids always love it, and they and my my youngest son when he was in college said, "Mom, all you have to do is Google airplane slap, and there you are." <laughs> <laughs> That's the the big time, the big time. Do you still get calls to act, and uh, are you open to new work? You know, what sorts of things are you, are you doing these days? And yeah, I'm forcing my agent in New York died, and I haven't really kind of worked very hard to get a new one. But I have uh, a lovely manager in LA, and every once in a while something pops up, and I still do something. But it's um, I'm not obviously working full time anymore, so. Now, are, there, are the roles you're offered, are they different now than, than when you were much younger? Well, they're older, for one thing. Yeah. But, you know, they, they, they're, not a lot of, they're not a lot of roles for older actors. So, you know, they're just a, many fewer of them. Mm-hmm. Well, that's uh, wonderful. Well, I, I appreciate you taking your time to talk about your experience with, with airplanes. Certainly one of the most funniest movies of all time in my in my personal opinion and i'm sure a lot of people would agree with me and i am uh, i'm told to have been a part of it it we had a wonderful time and it's been it's been a great fun thing to talk about over the years well i know our our visitors are are definitely going to enjoy hearing from you and 
your experiences working on the film and and kind of some behind the scenes of 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 what went on during the filming yeah. of airplane yeah. so um, yeah well thank you so much and i hope you have a wonderful yeah. day and um again thank you so much and thank you Kristen. it's lovely to talk to you thank you